This is one of a series of short videos that I'm doing in relation to the Engine Night Driver app preferences and I'm just going to look at uh, some options that can be used to increase or improve the screen real estate. Real estate. Um, so it's particularly important uh, or noticeable on small screen devices like this old HTC Desire that I've got here um, that if I bring up the loco um, there's not a whole lot of space on screen by default. I'm, I'm using one of the other themes rather than the, the default one, but you get the idea. Uh, and you can play with a few things to improve upon that or, or change it. Um, one of the things I tend to recommend to people is to increase the um, where are we? increase the uh, slider speed height button height, um, but that actually has a negative effect on the available space. It makes it easier for you to get your finger onto it, but you lose some space. What we can do is decrease these, the size of these buttons here, that's under preferences. Um, since they're buttons that you're not uh, using a lot of the time, uh, you can get away with decreasing them slightly, um, but it may be too small, you may find it uh, not, not particularly advantageous, but it's an option. The biggest thing you can do though to improve the screen real estate is by changing it to the immersive mode or full screen mode. And that is under swipe up down preferences use immersive mode and in that mode hang out, what happens is the top and bottom status bars disappear um, I'll get rid of that I'll just that disappears after a time period but I'll just swipe and come back oops and you see so now we've got a bit more screen real estate to play with and if you do want to run multiple throttles you've got a better chance of getting away with it um, with that You've, because you've lost this, those uh, top and bottom bars, to get them back you swipe down and that shows it up there and we've got our back button back uh, on screen there. Uh, swipe down again and they'll, they'll disappear. That's not particularly useful if you actually use the status bar for your, your emergency stop or your fast clock, uh, though you can get back to it reasonably quickly. Um, as I said, those can, the exact same changes can be done on a larger screen, it just the advantages are probably uh, less obvious. So if I go to immersive mode on that one, oops, uh, you can see this one out and back again. You can see that I've got more screen real estate available for my throttle and less for the things that you're not really using so often.